All right, guys, welcome to another episode of Dive into Real Estate Investing for Newbies podcast. I have a special guest, uh, Matthew and Kevin. Um, I want them to introduce themselves so I don't don't mess it up, but they have their, their AKA names. And uh, I'm just happy to have these guys on the show. They've been in real estate, I think, over 12 years. And um, I think y'all would be happy with what they have to uh, share today with the audience. So welcome, uh, Matthew, and welcome, Kevin. And uh, hey, just tell me how y'all got started and uh, where are y'all located in this part of the country? Thanks, Jill. Uh, so my name is Matthew, also the flipping landlord ninja. And, and I go by uh, the property prince on uh, your group and other places. And so we, like you said, we started about 12 years ago uh, in the Springfield, Massachusetts market. And uh, we've kind of been, you know, focusing mostly in residential property. Uh, a lot of, we started with like two families and three families. Yeah, fixing up a lot of distressed properties, um, taking a lot of homes that were, you know, boarded up and, and really run down in tough neighborhoods and getting them back. Right, yeah. right. So uh, it looks like y'all do property management too. Did y'all start off first doing, were y'all doing wholesaling first, uh, rehabbing or what did y'all start off with? Was it everything? So, well, so we started with actually buying distressed property and fixing it up ourselves. Yep. And then we started renting it out. And as we were renting it out, we kind of, you know, we kind of kept growing. And, you know, when we got to like 50 units, we kind of had a like a little makeshift property management company already because we were kind of overseeing all those tenants and we kept growing from there and building a management company just for ourselves around them. Absolutely. Yeah, it started by kind of just, you know, putting out fires. Uh, you know, we bought a property, rented it, and then we were doing just whatever you needed to do to keep the property going and service the tenants. And as we kept expanding, uh, you know, we, we started to have to actually put real systems in place or you're going to have to hire an actual management company. Right. Um, so we just basically developed a management team to manage our own properties. Basically, we were too cheap to hire a management company. At yeah, time. I guess that was a nice way of putting it. I don't know. Right, right, right. So did y'all always, did y'all know each other? Did y'all meet uh, from doing work together or previously work together? Or? We actually went to college together. Yeah, you met at UMass. Okay, all right. What y'all majored in? Uh, mine was biology and business. Uh, communications. Okay, I majored in biology too. I went to uh, college out here in Louisiana. Um, We're also so, next to good use today, right? Right, 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 <laughs> right, right. right. Uh, so tell me, guys, um, as far as in y'all market, did y'all start off with uh, buying some, uh, did y'all invest in coaching or did y'all just, you know, get go on social media like a lot of people, see an infomercial and just be like, hey, I want to get into real estate? So uh, I'll kind of jump in. So I actually started originally when I was 16 years old. I actually read, a, you know, Rich Dad, Poor Dad, everyone says that. But uh, I read that and kind of bought a group, uh, two family out in Pittsfield Maps and did, made all the mistakes I could have, you know, with that. Had a little business partner and it didn't work out. And then uh, from there, I went and tried buying a four family out in Michigan and that failed horribly. And so then uh, Kevin and I kind of met in college and we kind of talked about doing something outside of it. And uh, we basically just kind of- He suckered me in. Yeah, he suckered me That's pretty, pretty much it. <laughs> Uh, and we just kind of, without any training, we just went in, let's, we'll figure it out. Uh, so, you know, how to, you know, hire contractors. I went out and get my GC license and my lead license and asbestos license. And yeah, we just kind of, we just started kind of guns blazing. Just, you know, we jumped in with both feet and, uh, you know, did whatever it took and whatever we had to do nights, weekends, you know, early mornings, uh, having a regular job and then working before and after the regular job on the properties and in management. Uh, you know, but a key thing that Matt didn't get a chance to get to yet was, um, you know, we were super uh, impressed with the other landowners, the other uh, property management companies, the other landlords in the area who didn't view us as competitors. Um, and that's probably the, the biggest thing that I keep stressing uh, in the industry is don't look at another management company, don't look at it as another landlord as being your competition. 